jump on really fast and um, give you a word of encouragement. I pray that your day is going beautifully, that uh, all that God has and all that God is is poured out into your life today and that you are walking in total victory and that no matter what circumstance or situation you may face today, that you know that you already won. The battle has been already won. So therefore, the things that come against us day to day are uh, distractions from the enemy to get us to believe that situations, circumstances are actually bigger than what they really are because the battle is already won. Jesus said at the end it is finished it is finished i have completed the work that the father had for me to do and in doing so he reconciled us to to god and now there's no more barrier between us and god so therefore there's nothing that the enemy can do unless we allow him to do um those things in our life or or get us to feel or get us to, to get us to believe that uh circumstances and situations are more intensified than what they really are um jesus said so i'm talking today about distractions that that that's the thing is distractions because it's all um distract it's it's a, it's distractions to get us to not believe the word of god and to not walk in the ways of god so he distracts us he distracts us with different circumstances situations but by faith we can do anything we can do anything and so um i just i just want to encourage people just to stand like God is so faithful and I've been on a faith walk since May when I quit my job like I didn't I didn't have another job lined up uh, my business wasn't up and running like he was still giving me details about what it is that he desired and how to operate a business according to the kingdom and not according to the kingdom of this world but his kingdom so um I just um I just been standing on faith, believing God. And when I tell you that God has been faithful to me, I'm like, I need to write a book about this because it's just so amazing. Like I never would have imagined that this is the place that God has called me to. Like I have been homeless before. Um, I've been without so so many different times but th this time it's like i'm standing i'm standing on the word of god i'm believing in what he said and he gonna ride me through he told me don't ask nobody for nothing because nobody will be able to take credit for what i'm about to do in your life and i stood on that i stood on that at times it was hard it was hard like how am i gonna pay this how am i gonna pay that but god made a way like favor 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 has been just i i wow it's just like wow so uh I just want to encourage you, you know, whatever it is that God is calling you to do, whatever it is that God is requiring of you, because surrender for all looks different. Like the way that God asks me to surrender is different from the way that he will ask you, but he requires for us all to surrender. It's like we are not supposed to to hold anything according to this world so dear in our heart to where we put it first place over God. God is the number one in our life. So don't be distracted about uh, circumstances. You know, if, if God asks you, it's like God told Abraham, you know, uh, leave your kindred, leave your country, go to a place and I'll show you. But God didn't show him until he started moving. And I can honestly say I have been 
and and I'm still in that position right now. It's like I haven't got to the promised land, but I moved so he continued to show me and and teach me things along the way. So uh I just encourage everybody, you know, don't get distracted along the road that, that God has uh plan for you stay focused on god keep your eyes on god keep your eyes on jesus christ because if we take our eyes off of him and we start to look at circumstances and situation we get stressed out we get worried and the bible tells us be anxious for nothing but in all things in all things by prayer and, and petition make your request uh known unto god you know so it's like just stay focused on him. Stay focused on him. And it's a battle. It's a battle. Spiritual warfare is is a it's is a it's a fight. Like you literally have to fight sometimes every moment of the day because of the thoughts that the enemy will put into your head into your mind or he'll get you to uh he'll intensify to you the way that somebody responded to you and get you all angry and bitter uh towards that individual or whatever but you also got to remember we're not fighting against flesh and blood we're not fighting it's a spiritual war so in order in order to fight you have to put on the full armor of god to be able to stand and to be able to fight you know it's like david when david uh went after goliath goliath you know um saul tried to give him his arm his his uh armor and it was too big for him. God gives us what we need each individually for what we need. So I can't fight with your armor and you can't fight with mine because God may give me, you know, five smooth stones in a sling and he may have you fully armored for real. So it's like we have to know what it is that God is asking of us. We have to know where it is that God is leading us. We have to know what it is that God is saying to us. And we have to focus on him. We have to stay focused on him in order to accomplish the things that he is calling us to do. So uh, I just want to encourage you today to stay focused on God. Stay focused on what it is that he's calling you to do. What it is that he's saying to you don't get discouraged don't allow the enemy to get you off course in your mind because it all starts in the mind it all starts with our thinking you know so it's like we have to cast those thoughts down and bring them into captivity and and uh the the bible says it says um it says, don't be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we have to renew our mind in the word of God, not only in the word of God, but by the revelation uh, from the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, in these days and times, God is speaking to us through his Holy Spirit. Sure, he will use men. He will use um, nature like God speaks to us in many, 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 many different forms. So we have to know what it is that God is saying. We have to know because even the enemy, the Bible says that the enemy comes like, um, like light, like light. So we have to know, um, when it's God and how to discern that it's God. And the only way that we can do that is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ask God to come in and fill you to overflow. I'm doing the same. Like this journey, even with my post, like this journey that I'm on, it's not that I have that I have reached the mark. I have not reached the mark. But you know, it's like Paul said, one thing that I do, I keep pressing. I keep pressing. So as God uh as God is working in me and through me, then I I share with everybody else because you know, I want us all to overcome like I, I have that heart too. I don't want nobody to pr perish. And it just hurts me so bad to see people that have turned away and um and and lost lost focusness on on God and what it is that God is requiring from us. So just be encouraged today. I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. 
uh, let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nothing or no one come in and separate you from the love of Christ. Because the only way that you will be separated is if you allow it. If you allow it. So do not allow it. Do not allow it. Stand firm. Stand firm on the word of God. And he will see you through. He will see you through. God sh God revealed to me that this uh, we was in a season of total restoration where everything was being restored. And he began to show me how he was tearing some things down. And I believe that now we have entered the season of building up. God has tore down so many different things. So many walls, so many, um, so many lies from the enemy, and now he's 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 gonna build up. It's time to build up, and it's like you you plant a seed and you water it, and then it grows, it sprouts, and it blossoms. So, um, I believe we we've entered into a season where we will start to see the manifestations of the power of God. And I'm not talking about things. I'm talking about the power of God, where we will see people healed, where we will see people delivered, where we, where the Holy Spirit will speak through us and we won't even know where it came from. Like, oh, you know, so, um, be encouraged on today. And walk in the ways of God. Do what God is asking you to do. Whatever it may be. If it's, if he's asking you to give up something, give it up. Give it up. I remember uh, on Facebook seeing a picture circulating where a little girl had a teddy bear. And uh, Jesus was asking her for it. Or an image of Jesus was asking her for it. And he had a bigger one behind his back. So just know that like. God will take care of us. God will provide for us. And um, we just have to be obedient. We have to be obedient. Deuteronomy 28 says that, you know, if you do all these things, then all these blessings will uh, come upon you and overtake you. So, um, yeah, just be encouraged today. I love you. I'm going to go ahead and go on with my day. But um, I just wanted to encourage somebody today. Somebody needs some encouragement somewhere. We all need to be encouraged. And, um, yeah, so I will see you guys later. And enjoy the rest of your day. And until then, have a blessed one. And be blessed in the name of Jesus.